So let's start showing this. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of composing in multiple dimensions. Part nine, what is our thing? Part two. In today's episode, we had a lot of reflection. We decided to just jump in and free associate with the prompt word anger, which we decided is yet another way of expressing the idea of composing in multiple dimensions, expressing emotions musically as well as speaking and, for example, painting or drawing. Along the way, we updated our broadcasting system, this thing. We updated our music score program, this thing, and then we completed a free associate anger composition using an impromptu approach with scales, scale overlays and scale overlay time delays, and then we picked out some pleasing triads, triads, dyads, and tetrads, and recorded it as a MIDI animation. So this was fun. It was a very impromptu, which means, quote unquote, without being rehearsed or planned. It also means paradoxically in readiness so even though you didn't rehearse it you're you're quote unquote ready so in some sense we were ready because we had four scales ready to go it's these four scales we've been working with for the past several streams and we just decided to jump in and work with them which we did so each scale three six six three two three three two four five five four and two four four two got their own part line and then we play them in sequence and started overlaying them, overlapping them a bar at a time. Uh, and then, then we got fancy and did rolls up and rolls down. And oh my God, it got complicated there in the end. And we decided it was pretty cool. It, it sounded pretty cool. It definitely, we feel communicated uh, a feeling of anger, taking a deep breath, calming down, then getting all wound up again. So what we're going to do is play it for you as the MIDI animation, and then, and then it'll take us home. So here we go. So that concludes today's stream. Our ideas for next time, we want to share that animation. We recorded it. Um, export the separate part soundtracks and then open and re-record them through our Reaper Panorama system and then animate that. And then um, we might go so far as to go back to the score and figure out what these dyads are. We really like some of them, like this one. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. And then some of the tetrads. And we know what all these chords are going to be because we spent a lot of time in the last stream or two enumerating them. So we predict that we could identify what all those chords are. And if we did so, 
and we might go ahead and uh, do the chord concordance. Showing what different chord functions are in each scale. So a chord might be a dominant in one scale and it might be a ambivalent in another. That's pr pretty likely we would guess. So thank you for your time, attention, curiosity, and interest. Shout out to Bert Wirt who asked, what does it mean to compose in multiple dimensions? Which triggered a nice little impromptu reflection on what that is. Look forward to seeing you in the next episode. And as always, take care. Keep on streaming.